Sarah V. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am a 27 year old professional artist from central Pennsylvania, and I'm going to just be sharing with you all kinds of art related things, but also life related things. So today is the first episode of Can We Paint With That? And I'm going to be painting with espresso. I have done this many times before. Uh, this lion, which my chair's in the way, oops. This lion right here was done in espresso. And these photos that I'm going to put on the screen are also. So that's what we're gonna do today. So can we paint with that? Espresso edition, here we go. Okay, so we are painting with espresso today and um, espresso is about 10 times stronger than coffee. And the benefit to painting with espresso versus coffee is that it is 10 times stronger. So that means your values that you can get out of this, the darks to the lights, you have a much wider range of color that you can get. So here is my Arches paper, which is what I use for all my watercolors. It is 100% cotton and I stinking love it. It's the best watercolor paper ever. Okay, so I drew it all out with pencil and now it's time to paint with the espresso. Um, I use a lot of round brushes. Actually, I pretty much only use round brushes. I do have some water here because I'll be using water sometimes when I need to dilute the espresso a little bit. Now, this is a squirrel, which I hope you new. I'm going to just soften some of these pencil lines because I don't want them to show through too much. And I'm just going to start painting guys. Um, this is a red squirrel. So red squirrels have like more like fluffier ears almost. So I'm just going to start here and I'm just going to start with some lighter washes just because you can always go in and add more concentrated color later but you can't paint light over dark um, when you're doing something that's similar to watercolor which coffee is and i only know that because well i've painted with it quite a few times so So I put a little acorn here in his hand so it looked like he was actually munching on something. Okay, so on to the tail. The tail is my favorite part of the squirrel. Their tails are amazing. That's what gives them so much balance. So I'm sorry I'm left-handed and some of this might get covered with my hand a little bit. So you can work in layers too. Um, like I said, adding in the darks, obviously I'm dipping straight out of the espresso right now. Um, and this is all the darker it is, but once this dries, I can add some layers of more espresso and it will build the value of the color, which means it'll get darker, a darker tone. Okay, the little foot here, squirrels have kind of ugly feet, but um, their feet are also really important because they need balance. So I can't judge.
But I am going to start to add in some of the darker colors, which they're still not going to be that dark, just because, like I said, it takes layer after layer. So squirrels often have like lighter fur on their bellies and like the in inner parts of their their limbs. So I'm going to only darken the outer area of the leg here and the outer area of the arm. So it looks like there's some lighter fur. I think I love squirrels so much because my grandfather used to have like this battle with squirrels and they would steal all the food from his bird feeders. So he tried to come up with all these contraptions to make them stay away or deter them from eating the bird food and so it was always kind of this game and we were always watching the squirrels and I think that definitely is part of the reason why I love them so much and they're pretty darn cute and I think I wish I were as agile as they are. So this is where I like to kind of make it look a little bit more like a coffee painting and I'll do some splatters and I'll make some rings around the bottom of the cup to make it look like that's where my cup was sitting. But definitely some splatters. He's looking pretty darn cute, wouldn't you say? Y'all, it smells amazing over here. Amazing! Okay, folks, just to add some extra contrast in certain areas, I am going to use just a tiny bit of watercolor paint just so I can get a little bit of contrast between his, his little paw and... this acorn. On his eye. Which I want to use a little bit of black actually. Now I'm going to put a little highlight in his eye. There we have our coffee squirrel. I hope y'all enjoyed that so much. Uh, I had a blast painting our coffee squirrel today. And yeah, I think it turned out really well. I think we can definitely paint with coffee or espresso um, for this episode of Can We Paint With That? Yes, yes we can. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video. The more views I can get, the better. And I can't wait to see you next time.